Welcome back to Writing First Graders. Today, we are going to continue planning our story by adding a setting and a problem. On Monday, you did such a great job creating a character, giving it a name, a personality, and drawing it as well. Today, you'll create a setting, but not just any setting, a realistic setting and a realistic problem that your character will solve. What does realistic mean? When we say realistic, meaning it is a believable setting or problem that can happen to real people in real life. It cannot be a pretend problem like an alien came and took you to outer space. Or it cannot be a pretend setting like on a rainbow or on a cloud. In many Kevin Hanks books, the setting is school or home. And both of these are realistic places. Let's take a closer look. In Wemberly Worried, she's in a house and at school. In Owen, he's also in a house. In A Weekend at Wendell's, he's in Sophie's house. And in Sheila Ray the Brave, She's in a house, school, and outside. Remember, she gets lost. In Chrysanthemum, she's also at school. So Kevin Henkes really likes using a house or school as his setting. And both of these are realistic, but you are not limited to just using these settings, friends. You can think of many other places that are also realistic and add them in your plans. For example, a post office is a real place, such as a library, a train, an airplane, a park. Maybe your character will be in a doctor's office. Or if you really like a house or school as a setting, you can use it as well. Think about any other real place or outside places that you can use as a setting. A setting also means when the story takes place. Day and night time are realistic times. And seasons that you can make your setting are spring, summer, autumn, or winter. When will your story take place? Next, let's move on to the problem in your story. In Kevin Hanks' books, the problem is a real problem. Let's think about what happens in Lily's purple plastic purse. Do you remember? That's right. Lily brought a really fancy purse to school and it was very distracting. So her teacher took it away. Lily got so upset that she wrote her teacher a really mean letter, but then she felt really sorry about it. This is a problem that can happen in school in real life. Problems that are realistic. Other problems that Kevin Hanks has added in his stories are, Owen wants to bring Fuzzy to school, but his parents won't allow it. This is a problem that happens all the time. Maybe you have a special toy, but you can't bring it to school. In Sheila Ray the Brave, Sheila gets lost walking. This is also a real problem that can happen to you in real life. In Chrysanthemum, girls bully Chrysanthemum for her name. And we know that bullying is real because we learned all about it earlier this year. These are problems that Kevin Hanks chose to add in his stories, but you can think of your very own realistic problems to add. Maybe the character that you created is not being honest about something. Maybe your character has a big secret. Or maybe your character loses something. Or maybe your character is scared of something like the dentist, riding a bike, or even swimming. Maybe you'll make your character not very kind and they'll probably learn a lesson at the end of your story. And last, maybe your character needs a friend and that's the realistic problem in your story. These are only some idea friends. If you have your very own idea of the problem you wanna add, Go ahead and choose that instead. Now let's move on to our planning pages. Just like Monday, you'll have two pages to plan your setting and your problem. 
On the first page, you'll add where your story takes place, when your story takes place, what season, will it be daytime or nighttime? And on the very bottom of your page, you can add a picture of one of the settings in your story. The second page, you will add the problem in your story. What goes wrong? And if you notice, friends, the very bottom of this page says, stop writing for the day because today we just want you to focus on the problem. Take the next couple of days to think about the solution. Here's my example. My story is going to take place in a school and it's going to be springtime during the day. I went ahead and added a picture of my setting. On the second page, I will add my problem. The character Dottie bumps into things and needs glasses but doesn't want them. If you remember, friends, my character was clumsy and stubborn, so this really goes with the problem in my story. I did not add a solution today. I'm going to think about how my character is going to solve the problem. Today for your assignment, complete both pages of your plan sheets. You can print these papers out, or if you use your very own paper, make sure to include the setting, a drawing of your setting, and the main problem. Have a great time planning the rest of your story, friends. Goodbye.